This is an ABC Action News special presentation. The Tampa Bay Lightning's quest for the cup. Proudly sponsored by Tampa General Hospital. Your local Chevy dealers. And by Take 5 Oil Change. That's Kevin Lewis. I'm Kyle Berger. And Kevin, that is how it's done. The Bolts dominate game three, winning 5-1 to one here at Emily Arena. Thanks for joining us to Quest of the Cup. Again, I'm Kyle. That's Kevin. Yeah, the Bolts never eased up in this game. The Panthers scored once on a power play, their first power play goal of the entire playoffs. But for the most part, the team, I don't want to say play flawless hockey, but pretty close. And um, one of the big reasons for that, you get the lead early, and it usually means good things for you. And lots of goals. Let's take you out to the highlights here at Amelie. The Bolts got the scoring started early in the first period. A double deflection in front of the net ends with Corey Perry nicking in the opening goal. That's Perry's fifth goal of the postseason. He has been on fire. Tied at one in the second period, Ross Colton tees up. Eric Chernak, yes, the defenseman. Cherny goes top shelf with Mommy Hides the Cookies. That's his first goal of the postseason. Lightning regain the lead 2-1. to one. If I had a nickel or a dime or a dollar for every time I said in the last two years, Victor Hedman sets up Nikita Kucherov, who sets up Steven Stamkos for a goal, I would have retired before this year, and you'd be doing Quest for the Cup by yourself. 3-1, to one, the goal from the captain. The Lightning take a commanding 3-0 lead in the series. 5-1 the final at Amelie Arena. At this time of the year, it's it's about winning, and you need to do what's what's going to produce the wins. And it's not always pretty, and it's not always going to be the highlight plays. Although there are some, especially with 86 out there, but for the most part, it's just we have a game plan. Let's stick to it, and it's been successful. So why why would we change that now? Let's go out and, and execute and. Um, We've done a great job so far of, of executing. It's a constant uh, battle for us to, to keep playing uh, well when the puck's on our stick. And um, at the end of the day, we can control that better. And, and we're going to need to continue to be better at it here if we want to continue on here. The big cat was big again. Andre Vasilevsky, 34 more saves. He is 56 and 32 in his postseason career, and he gets Tom Brady style chance, and for good reason. Vasi Vasi uh, was going all afternoon at Amelie Arena as the Bolts take a three nothing series lead. Well, this game was a whirlwind, whirlwind. Easy for me to say for fans. They took the lead when they took the lead just three uh, minutes in. The Panthers tied it up. And our JJ Burton was in Thunder Alley. He has all the noise and celebration with the fans. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of some of the fans left already, but you can still see, see some people out here still celebrating. Come on, can we get some noise? Everyone's excited. Really, really happy about the game. Huge win today. And, of course, they say that this means that they're going to go and they're going to win tomorrow and then win and bring that Stanley Cup here. Again, you can see some fans still lingering around. But the crowd out here earlier, a lot of people, hundreds of fans, some kids who were excited, adults who were excited. This is huge. The pride, the pride is what really showed out here. People loving Tampa Bay, loving the Bolts, and loving that the Bolts could potentially make this a three-peat. Here, listen to some of those fans as they went wild as the game was going on. Super excited. Game three, up three, up two. <laughs> Super exciting, you know, the Panthers are pretty ranked, high ranked team. Yes. We get past this, it's a, it's, we're in cruise. It's a big win for Tampa. How are you feeling right now? I feel great! Why are you so great? Because we're winning! Oh, that was great. I want them to go for number three. That's it, number three. How long have you guys been fans? Are you real fans? Or is it like well, we, we got were, 2018 here. We were fans when Ben Bishop were here. City of champions, man. Yes, sir. It's yes, a city sir. of champs, baby. Hi, baby. Confident. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go, Bulls, baby. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're, we're taking it. We're taking it. Believe me, we're taking it. Let's go, Bulls, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Looking like a dynasty to me. Looking like a dynasty. And back out here live, want to show you something. They want to hold some of their uh, their swag up. Woo! Excited today. Will you guys be back out here tomorrow? Oh yeah. Back out here tomorrow. Okay. And again, the puck drops tomorrow at seven. But coming back up, we talked to some fans earlier, asking them if they think they're going to win tomorrow. Hear how confident they are coming up in a couple minutes. Reporting right out here at Amelie, JJ Burton. Go! Put it in front. Score! Score! Ross Colton! 
minutes left. Incredible! 2-1 <laughs> Lightning! If you are a Bolts fan, that's like music to your ears. What a finish in Game 2 for the Lightning as they beat the Panthers to take a two games to none lead in the second round of this playoff series. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler spoke with Bolts radio man Dave Mishkin about where his enthusiastic approach comes from. When Dave Mishkin does play-by-play, play, there's no doubt who he wants to win. Kucha, put it in front! Score! Score! Ross Colton! As a kid growing up, I liked the announcers for the team that I was cheering for to be excited when something good happened for that team. Something really good did happen in Game 2 against the Panthers. An improbable goal in the final seconds gives the Bolts a commanding lead in this playoff series. And Michigan exploded with excitement. With 0.9 seconds left! Incredible! 2-1 <laughs> <Two> Lightning! <laughs> Could you have magic? I'm not really thinking about how I'm going to sound. I'm not thinking about really what I'm saying. I'm just reacting in the moment. I, I've tried to stay in the moment and that's kind of the way I've done it as long as I've been doing it. The Lightning now have won three playoff games under coach John Cooper when they scored the winning goal with less than 10 seconds left. Those are memories that you never forget. I mean, they just, they're iconic moments and last night was another one. Michigan has had plenty of winning moments to scream about the past few seasons, and he says this year's Bolts can bring home the Stanley Cup again. Eric Waxman, ABC Action News. Dave Michigan in the press box every now and then. He's a very, very quiet person until a microphone gets in front of his face. You wouldn't know, like, in between periods or something, if he gets a glass of water or gets uh, something to eat. Yeah, he just looks like, you know, every man, and you wouldn't think he was this, this ball of energy, but he is. Well, the Lightning take a 3 nothing commanding lead in this series. I'm not being a fanboy. I'm not prisoner of the moment. I think this is over. I think they're going to sweep uh, You want me to night. say it, don't you? <laughs> The I want sun, you to say the it. sun is setting early in sunrise. Wow. There you go. I mean, the, the last game of the season has been played at Florida Live Arena, but I'm no Kyle Berger well, Shakespeare. <laughs> we'll have more Bolts coverage, some ana analysis, and Thunderbug surprises a group of elementary students next on Bolts Quest for the Cup. The Action News Special is sponsored by your local Chevy dealers.